Hey folks, Tivik here and welcome to Cube World Alpha. Yes, yes, I picked it up. For your enjoyment, we are going to dive straight into this game. I've been playing a little bit, but I removed all worlds and characters that I've been uh, making and testing. I've tested most races to see which one I like uh, and uh, I've tested all the classes just to get a glimpse of them to see how they are and so far I've had most fun with the rogue so I'm gonna play as the rogue we're not gonna be a goblin though I think we're going to be uh... not an elf not a dwarf I think we're going to be an undead they're pretty cool yeah let's be an undead male female male definitely let's see I want red eyes that looks neat. Let's get some hair on this thing. Spikes. Oh yeah, spikes. That's awesome. I'm gonna call him Tivik, of course. And uh, I want jet black spikes. <laughs> That's awesome. Look at this, guys. This is so awesome, this game. Let's create a character on a new world. And um, let's see. I'm gonna type in a number here. Let's see. I'll real quick here type in random number generator and go to random.org and type in a number between one and a couple of thousand million. Between one and a hundred million. Okay. And the result is 44. Four, Four four six five one four three nine. And this is gonna be let's play. Okay? This seed, if you put that in, you will get the same world, as far as I understand. You might not get the same spawn, but who knows? And it says please wait. I am ow ow. Something is hitting me already. <laughs> Whoa! Dude! I'm attacked by radishlings, the first thing that happens. Okay, let's uh, remedy this situation. Wow, what's that about? Wow, okay. Welcome to <laughs> Cube World. Wow. That hurt. That hurt a lot. Thanks, we're in the lands of Terralon. And I'm not gonna play as the assassin, I think. Um, actually, we are. We're the assassin, but we're gonna play with a longsword. Because this is awesome. Right. So, we are in this... Nah, let's play as the ninja. The ninja sounds awesome, and I've had so much fun. Plus, we get sneak and shuriken attacks uh, instead of intercept and camouflage in the end. Yeah, we're gonna go for the ninja. It's that easy just switching, but I suppose that if you have points, you might lose them. Not sure. I haven't really played more than one level. Okay, so these... There is nothing special. Well, these are the respawn statues. If I die, I respawn at one of these. Cool. Okay, so let's uh, take a look at things. Uh, for those of you who are new, this game came out today on the 4th. Well, it didn't. On, uh, I think it came out on Monday or, no, Tuesday, the 2nd of July. But uh, the web shop has been down. So a lot of people got in to get to play the game the first day. I was unfortunately not one of them. And... Uh, I've been waiting for the shop to come back up, and the second uh, Wule uh, tweeted about this, I went to buy the game. Yes, I've been waiting that long, since he announced it, like, ages ago. So, what is this? Well, it's a procedural, huge, and I mean huge, infinite, in fact, game. This is just the land. I think that if you go beyond the borders, you will get to a new land. There might be more than one city, and there are several dungeons and encounters, and yeah, it's really cool. So look at this. 
this is all that I've seen so far. So that's all this land all around me. It's kind of awesome, isn't it? Yeah, so what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna go killing stuff and leveling up and crafting stuff and finding bosses to kill and getting killed. Yeah, we're probably gonna get killed a lot. Mmm, hot chocolate. Awesome. So, I'm gonna start by heading off into the direction of this village because that's always a good idea and I'll explain things as we go. Um, since I started fighting, left mouse button to swing, right mouse button is my special attack, you can see the mouse too blinking down there, and I can't use that unless I have MP. So, you see my MP going up? And I can use my special attack, which is... Uh, Counter-Strike. You dodge all attacks while performing a special attack. I think it is. Yeah. Yep. You walk around with the WASD keys. You dodge using the middle uh, mouse button. Um, you can rebind. I don't think you can rebind, actually. I haven't seen any rebinding uh, key uh, for the keys, but there might be options for this. I don't know. I walk around killing these bushes. That won't give me any experience whatsoever, but it gives me stuff. For instance, uh, now I got some wood logs. You can see it down in the log there. Uh, <laughs> wood log in the log. That's awesome. And some plant fibers. These are all crafting ingredients. Uh, you have four un inventory slots like this. One for pets, one for ingredients, one for items, and then one for, uh, for equipment. I wonder. Hey! Unarmed fighting. I need to test this out. Hello there. This is a Kormling, okay? Let's, uh... Wow. Wow. He hit hard. I got a dusty wood boomerang that is used for rangers. Wow. He's a boxer. Nice. I kind of like this. I'm gonna try these out. Even though I like the sword. I really did like the sword, but... I do damage with this as well. Oh, the village is just over the corner here. Um, M brings up the map. And you can press F1 to get an overlay for all the keys. Like, for instance, if I stand in a dark area like this, I can press F. And I have a lantern out. G for a special item. I haven't found one yet, so yeah. And T for calling the pet. R is for interacting, E is for picking up, and Q drinks my quick item. Um, this was something that I didn't really grasp. The quick item is my potion, and I was trying to drink it mid-fight, and I was clicking and then hit it and nothing happened, but potions are drunk over time in this game, so you need to be careful. You need to dodge away and then drink. Is that a wasp? It's a bee. It's a hornet. He might be too much for us, but I'll give it a give it a shot. Hello, bee. Oh, he's not ag aggressive. Are you aggressive? Let's fight. Okay, so I don't do any damage really, unless I kick him. So it's kind of important that I hit with the special attacks, or nothing will happen. Yay! Now, I think I'm gonna go back to the sword. I like the sword. Swoosh, swoosh, slash. So look at this now. I drink my healing potion. You can do this while walking. That's no problem. So you, you while running, actually. Um, I run over these items and click E to pick them up, by the way. I did say that. Oh, that's wolves. We don't want to fight with them, but I do want these flowers. Um, it's probably a bit too quick for you guys to uh, see, but I'm gonna go to another one and you'll see. See here? Down in the corner here, it shows me what I'm looking at. This one, mushroom. E to pick it up. Nice. Okay. As far as I've seen, you don't really lose anything on dying, so I hope that stays true, but that might just be for for the start of the game, I don't know. 
picked up some more of these flowers. These uh, heart flowers are used to make healing potions. Oh, hello, Terralon City. Awesome. It's a short trek to the city, and here's a pig. Hello, pig. I can't kill the pig. It's in the city. Okay, so what do we have here? We have an inn. That's an inn, and that's an inn. There's a collie. I do think they look like Shelties, though. Although, considering my size, yeah, they're probably collies. Pumpkins? Yeah, there's a pumpkin. I don't know what I can do with pumpkins, but... Let's, uh... Check. I'll just grab a whole bunch of them. Hope nobody gets upset with me. There we go, and I got pumpkins! Can I do anything with these? I can press C to bring up the crafting uh, interface. But it looks like there's nothing using pumpkins. Oh well. Um, inns let you sleep. What? What the heck? Aggressive dwarfs in town? So I'm gonna die as well. I died. Okay, so I died, I got one experience, but now I get to revive. Or revive, or... yeah. And, uh... I'm back. First death, woohoo! As you see, I didn't lose any experience on dying, so I don't know. Didn't lose anything else. Items still in my inventory. And, well, I didn't have any coins, so perhaps coin is dropped. We'll see once we get back to the inn. Oh, I can't actually see which one it was. Can I? No, I was further up. I think it was one of these inns. Yeah, this direction. I really shouldn't be getting into these fights because it's a bit too difficult for me. Oh, I'm still walking the wrong direction. The map is a bit confusing because the direction you are looking here matches up to the direction you're looking in the game. So if you see my head, he's looking this direction now. But if I turn around, he's walking along this way. So let's find an item shop. And uh, this is a general store, an item shop. Let's see what we can find. Let's open this up. Hello? What are you selling? You're selling glass flasks. That's what I was looking for. We can sell off these by right-clicking. And I'm gonna sell all these. That was loud. Ouch. And we're gonna buy a whole bunch of these. They end up in the uh, crafting materials. I don't know how many you can have, but I'm gonna buy... 50. And then we're gonna take a look. I can use the plain iron longsword. But what can I craft? I can craft the plain iron longsword, so there's absolutely no reason for me to buy that. Um, and all these are high powered. So, waffle. Hmm. Wonder what I can do with a waffle. Um. I suppose I could give it to some creature or something. It's a pet food, so let's buy a waffle. We can buy boats, but I don't have the money for it, so... Okay. Will you eat that? No. Can I put that into special or... Okay. Let's put that into pet again and see. 
Actually, I think I'm gonna have to buy a few more of them. That might actually be a smart idea. So, let's uh, pick up a few more. I have no idea what I'm doing. So, let's buy... You can't carry anymore. Okay, so just one, okay. Maybe if I give it to a dog. This here is... A weapons door or an armor store. As you can see, some of these are for mages and warriors and rangers and stuff. And there's really nothing that I can buy that I can use. Though some dusty stuff. No, look at these. They're power plus 81. I can't use that. Oh well. Right. In the city here now. There are... There's the adventure district. There's the trade district. I know that there is a crafting district somewhere. So let's go north into the town. Here is the trade district, yeah. Set up this street here. This looks like it could be the crafting district. Yes, it is. And here you can use a customization bench to, for instance, customize your weapon and add stuff. 32 upgrades. I don't know how to get these upgrades, but here's an anvil to craft stuff. And I can make iron cubes on uh, through the furnace here. I can make iron cubes if I have iron nuggets. But I don't have iron nuggets, and he's not selling it. Some rocks can be destroyed with bombs. You can purchase them in the item shop. We're gonna have to take a look at that, because I want to make swords. Um... And there's, I think, the leather or the cloth ear. No, that's the cloth ear. So that's probably... Woodworker. Yeah, that's the woodworker. But let's head back to the main... Uh, to the trade district, down to this one. We're gonna head south. I would like for an option to make the map static. But... I don't know. It's kind of a cool map. Although it's kind of off-center now. It usually fixes itself. Is this the item shop? So, remember guys, this is an alpha. It's a not finished game, so there's a lot of things to be added still. Bomb, let's find a... Can you use these? Let's buy... Well, I don't have so much money, so I'll just buy the bombs that I can. Okay. Now I think we're gonna head out of town again. Where should we go? Let's um, adventure up north and see what we find. Cool. So I'm gonna run out of this town and see if we can level up. We need to fight a lot of creatures. We do need to find water, but just north here seems to be a um, uh, river. So that's good. Very good. Rivers contain water, usually. Another smart comment from me. Oh yeah. Hmm. How about this one. Do you like these? Whoa. He likes me. Aww. He likes me. He's with me. Awesome. Hello. Can I rename you? Can I rename you? He's rideable? Huh? Okay. Well, this is going to be interesting. Kind of cool. I have a terrier following me. I would like to rename you, can I? No. Doesn't look like it. Huh. Can I call pet? What happens if I... Okay, let's uh, find ourselves some adventure. We're still heading north. 
think we're gonna go around these. Ooh, heart blossom. Or heart flower. <laughs> I have a dog. Awesome. Yeah, so I've been watching all these video clips of this game and wow. He's really done a good work. And I mean, look at this engine. It's stunning. Here's Ginseng. Ginseng is... Or Ginseng or whatever. Hey, the Terrier does help. That's awesome. And he levels up too. Whee! <laughs> he can climb up. Oh yeah. Uh, now that I am near water... I'm gonna spend a little bit of time here crafting. We're gonna go here and go to the water flask. I'm gonna make 50. So that's gonna take a little bit of time, so I'm gonna pause the recording, so I'll be right back. I made 50 water bottles. Oh. So, with these water bottles, I can craft life potions, and we're gonna need these. Believe me, we're going to need these. And the basic one heals me 200 health. I have a suspicion these won't last for very long at all. For some reason, these guys are walking around that bush. Are they beating around the bush for something here? Eh? I don't know. I want to take this cotton plant, though. Oh, there is an ogre or a giant something up there. I'm not gonna go fight that. But here's a horse. Several, actually. They could be tamed. And we would have ourselves a mount. That would be kind of awesome. Can you get up here? You can climb. Scrubs drop cobwebs. And uh, they are useful for something, I don't know. Turtles? There we go, found some roots. If I could find a fire, because I don't know if there's a way to make a fire yet. Hmm. Can these be broken by bombs? How do I use bombs? Hmm. Oh! Oh, 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 oh! What is this? Come here. Wow. So, you can actually dig down this way? Wow. Go, 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 go. Okay, so that doesn't really help. Okay. Worth a try, worth a try. That was cool, though. Alright, so we have a campfire up here. That's awesome. These campfires... ...can be used for cooking. So, let's go into crafting and go to food. I can make ginseng soup. Gives me 200 health. I'll cook three. Now... Oh, yeah! To switch between items that you can use, you tab and use your mouse, well, no, not your mouse, but your arrow keys. So if I were to use the bomb now, I could just hit Q and drop a bomb. Boom. And floaty mushroom. Let's uh, do that with this one. I was hoping they would drop some ore, but they don't. So, before I, ooh, before I do what I just did, let's switch to the life potion. Mold, kill it. So, I just found some scratched iron gloves. Can't use them, so we'll sell them. Scrubs, more scrubs. And mushrooms. I don't know what half of these items are used for yet, so... That's gonna be something we will find out together. Uh, 
What happens if I put a bomb there? Oops. Nothing. I was hoping I would find a nugget or two of ore. Nothing. Oh, well. What are you guys? You are a lemon beetle. Oh, they are... There are a lot of them. Let's uh, not go for them. What else do we have up north here? There's a ca uh, canyon going up this way. And that's past these beetles. But if we go around them like this... Pressing F brings up the lamp, by the way. There's another terrier. What happens if we fight that one? Thankfully, I cannot hit my allied pet. Oh, and he heals up as well. Cool. That saves some time. Oh yeah, when you level up, you get to choose points. I've only gotten so far as to getting points in intercept, so... Hide yourself to cam in the shadows to camouflage yourself. Critical strike chance and MP regeneration. Wow. Then, once you get high enough, you will be able to throw shurikens. Cool. I'm looking forward to this ninja. Oh, ogre. Run away. I don't think I could fight that thing. Even if I wanted to. We have more moles. Let's uh, fight them, but we're gonna do that on ground. We're a killing machine. Look at that. Wow. It's not a lot of experience, though. That gleaming thing around me, I have no idea what that means. Hey, it's a shepherd dog. Hello. Hi. Woof. Could I get you a waffle? Can I have more than one pet? I don't think... No, I can, o can only have one pet active at a time. So I'm thinking if I get a mount, I will only have the mount active. Uh, up in the top right, you see the clock and the temperature and the humidity. So it's currently 18 degrees Celsius at a 49% humidity. That's alright. And uh, the time is 13.27. Cormanings! Ow! So I'm gonna dodge away and drink a potion while running around like a madman. These give good experience but drop nothing. So I'm gonna keep killing them. Hello there. Gotta roll when you land, right? <laughs> you can also climb. Um, this is just normal slopes, but anything that is uh, uh, that has a sharp edge like this, you can climb it by using control, like this. But you see the stamina going down? So you need to be careful, because if your stamina goes down, you fall. Like this, I'll show you. Climb up this tree and try to keep climbing and oh Hello there. Where are you? I would love to have a chicken pet. Okay. Good for you. I have my own house. I'm a bit envious. But Ule has said that we will get housing eventually, but I don't think it's implemented very much yet. Onion links gives will drop onions. On the lane. Come on, come up here. It's much easier to fight you up here. I would like to level up, but this gives so little experience. Thirty-four. 
Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna level up in this episode, but we did get a get a dog. Very cool, isn't it? Oh, I'm going the wrong way. I'm going this way. What is that thing? Let's go blow that up with a bomb before we end this episode. See if we can find some resources. Oh, humans, and that's a lot of them, and they are aggressive. No, not drink that. I meant to drop a bomb. Oh, they're coming for me. This might be us dying, but we'll see. Oh, 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 oh. I need to real quick switch to that and go drink a potion. Okay, mage, you're going down. My dog is dead. Okay. Oh, the dog is up again. Oh, that was so close. How far was that? You don't get any kind of markers or anything, so... You don't know where it was? Unless you manage to find it yourself. And I think it was... Let's go south. Ouch. You can just find... Some kind of hole in the ground. I think it was over there, wasn't it? No. Maybe not. Yep, over there. It was over there, let's go. Let's run there before I end this first episode in this series. It's gonna be fun, isn't it? I was a bit curious as to what they dropped here. A uh, few things, let's pick them up. And... I don't have any more bombs. So I can't actually destroy this to see if there is anything in it. Um, I'm gonna kill the last human here. So they dropped copper, for instance. But he dropped... Some worn iron gloves, can't use them. All warrior stuff. So this is all stuff that we can sell. Okay. That's gonna be it, guys. I'll see you soon in the next episode. And have a nice day. Take care. Bye-bye.